All right, so the last thing uh, for this lesson, uh, we want to inter introduce touch events. So these are all touch screen devices, of course, so we want a way to handle touch events. They are similar, but not identical, to the click events that we've been looking at. So uh, a touch event, and there's a series of touch events. Uh, here's a little blurb. Uh, from the API documentation, the user performs an action qualified as a touch event, including a press, a release, or any movement gesture on the screen. Uh, we are going to be looking at uh, the so-called motion events, and we're going to be looking at this, this event here. This is a touch event. Uh, this is actually a motion event, and we'll, we'll talk a little bit about those. So, to handle these, we use, not surprisingly, uh, something called an on-touch listener. So this is, again, similar uh, similar to, but not identical to your on-click listener. Uh, with an on-touch listener, uh, we want to, the handler, the event handler for the touch event, uh, we need a class that implements the on-touch listener interface. Uh, so here is uh, the documentation for uh, uh, for the uh, touch event. Uh, what's passed in is a view parameter. So this we've seen this before. This is uh, identical to our click event. We get a a different. Uh, uh, we get in this case we get something called a motion. Event. So the motion, uh, the event that's passed in, the motion event uh, object containing full information about the event. Now, the motion event has a very convenient uh, set of methods called get x, get y. So this, and you'll need to use this uh, in your assignment, get x, get y will return the coordinates of this touch event. So let's take a quick look here and let's let's see what this looks like so here here's a code example and here is a touch listener let's take a look uh, at what we've got here so uh, simple draw rect activity uh, and we've got uh, we've got a view object we've got a class called draw view uh, and here notice we've got this x touch, x touch position and this y touch position and I'll show you and that's going to be the coordinates of where our touch event has taken place uh, and you'll see where you'll need to where you'll need to use that so on create uh, sort of the usual things here um, draw view new draw view this so in this case this is similar to the very first example that we looked at where the uh, our custom view, in this case our object, our class draw view, uh, is going to take the entire screen. Uh, I'm going to set, right away I'm going to set uh, a background color, color dot light gray. I'm going to run this in a second, you'll see what this does. Um, and set content view, draw view. So uh, again, this is, uh, excuse me, I said it was this constructor, it's actually right here. This is where our view uh, our view takes the entire the entire screen. Um, we're going to assign to our view, our custom view, a touch listener. So draw view dot set on touch listener. And again, looks very similar to how we do the click listeners. New my touch listener, and here's our old friend, a private inner class, uh, a named inner class. Um, implements on touch listener. Uh, on touch listener is an interface with one method and you guessed it that method is on touch so our mission is to override the on touch method and again what's passed in is a view and one of these motion events um, don't worry too too much for now about this return value um, you can you can set it to false and then after you uh, after you handle, uh, you can set it to false, and then after you handle the event, 
uh, you can set it to true. Um, what are we going to do here? So, for our purposes, the only event we want to handle is uh, this event here called motion event dot action down. So all that means there, here is there. That's a motion event dot action down. So it just means that from the from the documentation, a press gesture has started. Um, a press gesture has started. So this will just give us uh, the initial starting location or the the screen coordinates of where it's happened. Now there's other you know there's plenty of other touch events you know uh, action up or or move movement events. For now to keep it simple, all we care about is action down. So here we check to see if it's an action down event. And notice what we do here. Uh, we're going to take this X touch position, Y touch position, um, and we're going to use these methods of the motion event object, um, event.getX, event.getY. This will return the coordinates of where the motion event happened. And here, uh, and you should replace this with uh, with log, not system out of print line. Um, but here, uh, this is nice feedback for you. You can see, you can actually see what's happening. We'll set the return value to true uh, as required here because we are handling this event. Um, again, don't get, don't get too, uh, you know, don't don't put too much thought into that. Here's where I I, uh, I point this out to you. Draw view dot set touch coordinates and notice what we've done here. We pass in x touch position, y touch position. So, what is draw view? That's our custom view class. I haven't shown you that, uh, but that's what you're going to have to do this week. Um, draw view. That's our our custom view class. We pass in this x and y, um, and then we want to call draw view dot invalidate. The reason we want to do that is why is to cause on draw uh, on draw to get called. So let's look at this example. What does it do? So here is an example called draw rectangle. So what does it do? It draws a red rectangle in the top. Uh, this is draw rect uh, canvas dot draw rect. It draws a circle, a teal colored, sort of teal colored or light blue circle uh, in the center. Um, this is canvas.drawcircle. And here again is canvas.drawrect. Uh, here's blue. So what have we done here? Think of what, what, what do we think the on draw method probably looks like. So here we've got a paint object. Paint dot set color color dot red, and then we draw rect. How do we know where to draw the rect? Because we've measured the width and the height of our view, and this is going to be uh, the top, uh, and this is going to be. However, you know, this is what say this is a hundred, a hundred pixels or a hundred picture elements. Now. Be aware, how do these screen coordinates work? Positive x is this direction here. From here to here is positive x. So from left to right is positive x. Positive y is a little bit different than what you're used to. Positive y is from top to bottom. Positive y is from top to bottom. Um, so you're going to need to understand this to draw these op uh, to draw uh, these shapes. Now, what's here? What do we have here? The coordinates are x and y. What have we done here? So notice the functionality here is when I click, you see what happens. So let's go right in the top here. What have we got? See how how if I can get forget it. So I can't see I was off the display. This is I'm trying to get zero zero. I can't I, I can't quite get it. Uh, but so here's the top. 
And let's see what do we have here. So this is around a hundred. So what would what is this rectangle? It starts at zero zero. It goes to one hundred one hundred. So that's what we would put in our draw rect call. Uh, this I'll tell you is centered in the middle, and here. there are the coordinates um, approximately it's hard to get it exactly uh, see <laughs> I tried to get it exactly and I uh, <laughs> I closed the app um, so what is it that you're and, and see what has happened here so notice we have those screen coordinates draw rec dot set touch coordinates X touch position Y touch position so that's where uh, that was coming from Real quick, I, I don't want to take, I'll, I'll show you, here's how that's happening. And that's all I really want to show you, uh, because it's your, so it was canvas.drawText, and then you put in some screen coordinates of where you want the text to be. Um, and go ahead and check it out in the API. It's, it's pretty simple. You'll, you know, you'll, you'll be using it in no time at all. So what is it that you need to do with this? Here is your homework. Um, and I think this is easy and fun. So I want you to create a custom view, and I want you to draw rectangles in each corner. Uh, a red in the top and a blue in the bottom. The colors are not terribly important. If you want to use different colors, please, please do so. Um, but I do want you to understand how to do something in the top corner and the bottom corner. So I want you to understand uh, how to get the width and the height. And that's in the examples I give you. Uh, shows you how to get the width and the height. I want you to draw a circle of radius 100 on the center of the view. Uh, I want you to, uh, so this will be, you know, very similar to our, you know, dark blue circle that we've been drawing. Um, I want you to handle the touch event. So you're going to need to, for this view, you're going to have, you know, my view dot, uh, my view dot set touch listener, and then you're going to have to have a class that uh, implements the on touch listener interface um, to handle that. What will you do with that? You use get x and get y to get the screen coordinates. You're going to pass it to your view class, and here you're going to use this canvas dot draw text to display just right here, to just like it's shown right here to display the X and Y coordinates of the of the touch event. So should be uh, should be should be pretty reasonably straightforward. You know, it's not meant to be a real difficult thing. And there will be a you know we'll set up a little bulletin board where people people can ask questions. Uh, I'm happy to answer questions, always happy to answer questions. When we set up this bulletin board, uh, if you see one of your, you know, one of something, if you see someone has asked a question, if you know the answer, go ahead, give a hand, help out. Um, so that's uh, that that's the homework. So summary: we looked at drawing custom views. That's that's what uh, you know. That that's what today's discussion is about. It's about drawing custom views. We want to extend the view class, include these super class constructors, uh, as we showed uh, in that uh, that little add, uh, you know, the new class uh, new class wizard. And you extend the view class. You override on draw. You on draw may be called, you know, many many times. Um, and because it's called many times, here's just a, a, a tip: don't allocate your graphics objects like your paint object. Don't uh, don't create your paint object and on draw because you create a new one every time you go in there. Create it in the in the constructor or or somewhere else uh, somewhere else. Um, here is the API guide. Uh, again, uh, as as we talked about initially, uh, there's a lot of material in there. Uh, you don't necessarily uh, have to concern yourself with too much of it right now. Uh, look at the drawing on a view, and again, it's just uh, you know it's only about half a page, uh, half a page, but half a page of really of really useful key key information. Um, 
And for touch events, use the on touch listener interface in your slides. Uh, I just put a little bit of reference here. This is material straight out of the API. Uh, get used to using this. Get used to using this documentation. Uh, it's got the answers to, uh, well, maybe not all your questions, but it's got the answers to a lot of your questions. Um, I also put in uh, a little uh, sort of supplement for you, just a little bit of information on the paint class. Um, there's lots, we, we, the things I've shown you here, we've really just scratched the surface. There's a lot you can do with it. Here we're setting the color, you can set a little bit of a thicker line. Again, go to the API for a whole host of, you know, interesting, uh, you know, interesting, you know, fun and interesting things you can do with drawing. So, that's, uh, that's it for, uh, for now. Uh, enjoy and see you next time.